So, Reed Planes, the same guy who makes Reed Plane parts, uh, just came up with this odd design for a plane stop. And it's kind of an interesting one, and there are all sorts of different types of plane stops. I'm probably going to be doing a video on different types of plane stops and how they work and what to do with them. Uh, but I thought, let's make this one. And he's actually offering these plans for free, and I'll leave a link to those down below. Um, and if you want the hardware, you can get the kit. It's basically just bolts, washers, and a couple other things. Um, but uh, we're going to be making it from one of these. So let's dive in and have fun with the plane stop. So we've got a threaded insert, a washer, a cutter pin, and a bolt. Totality of the kit. Let's have some fun. Close enough. By the time we plane it down, a little over one inch. About an inch and a sixteenth is what is recommended by two inch by two inch. Good piece of hard maple. We'll have some fun with this. Gotta love hard maple. There's a reason they don't call it easy maple. And the grain looks like it's rising, but I'm getting tear out there. On second thought, let's do some Australian blackwood. This stuff's a little harder, it'll be a little more difficult to work, but uh, I think it'll do well. Interesting. That's dead center. Let's see what we get. Mark. 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 Pretty close. A little square in the middle. That's where I need to be. <clears throat> Just need to go in far enough so that the washer can disappear. Yeah. I'll do. I should do a little cleanup on there. Do one more. Stop. Oh, now we're getting to an octagon. where it starts as long as it starts. Ooh, there we go. Mm. Drilled the hole ever so close. Now I can't get it all the way through. Almost there. There we go. Needs to be that deep. So how deep is it? Not that deep. I can bring in the flag.
I'll go step one step larger. Okay, took a little bit off and now, nice, that way, and that way. Let's test this depth by flipping it over, and pretty good, but a little tight. Still hitting a little bit of something, oh, right there. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for, right there. Okay, so one of the interesting things about this is you could do all sorts of different things. You can put sandpaper on a face, cut out a notch for vertical adjustments, cut out uh, zigzags in here. There's all sorts of things. But I'm just going to leave this one. I'm going to leave this one smooth for now because I want to play with it and try a few things. The nice thing about it is I can set it up to exactly whatever height I need and it supports up against this. So let's give this a test drive and see what we got. So we can start with the planing stop up here. Nice and simple. Tall chunk of walnut. But then if I want thinner stock, we can just run this down in a little ways until it's ever so slightly below. So all the plans for this are available. They are for free down below and you can go and download those. And uh, yeah, it's kind of an interesting idea. I, I like this. It's a way that it's very easy to set up and down. It's wood, so when you plane over it, you're not gonna have a problem. You can adjust the height very easily. Um, it's filled all the spaces so dust isn't getting down underneath it. I don't have to worry about it clogging up. When I want to push this one down or one of the other ones, a lot of junk gets in there. I have to clean it up before I can push it down. This one's actually really nice with that. Jeff from Reed Plains has been coming up with all sorts of really interesting ideas and he's trying different things to just play with the art of woodworking. And so we've got this and some other little things he's thinking about and I think this is kind of cool. And he is offering the plans completely free so if you want those, um, hop on down below, there's links to that. And with a couple pieces of hardware you can throw a planing stop in here that actually works really well. And especially with the idea of putting different faces on there to try different things. Um, I want to try with the smooth face first and just see if it has any problem with it. Maybe putting a piece of sandpaper on there to hold a little bit of grip. Uh, but so far with the tests I've done, I actually like it with just the smooth face. It, it doesn't rotate, it doesn't turn, so you have a nice pushing surface onto it. Um, I could make it wider um, so that I have a, a bigger area for it to push against. I could have the whole, you know, half the width of the bench and have one pin in the middle that's adjusting height or two sets of them side by side so I can adjust it that way. Uh, there's lots of other ideas to this and I really like it. Uh, there's just a, a bunch of interesting thinking outside the box ideas and so Jeff you're really doing an amazing job with this and if you don't know who I'm talking about with Reed Planes um, he's the one who's making replacement parts for it so you can get the, rid of the slop um, in the adjustment on all of the planes as well as angles for it. I've got several videos on installing those and what all those are uh, he is really starting to do new things in an old art, and I really like that. So uh, keep it coming. I'm looking forward to seeing what items you come up with next, Jeff. So if you want to see more, go download the plans. It has a list of all the hardware you need for it, which is a bolt, an insert, a washer, and a clevis pin. Or if you do want to, um, Reed is selling the set of those, so you can just buy one set for a piece rather than buying you know, 10 of each you'd have to get at the hardware store. So um, thank you for that. Looking forward to seeing what you come out with in the future. And I think that'll about do it for today. If you do have any questions or thoughts, ideas, things that could make this even better, I would love to see that. Leave those down in the comments down below. I do read through all of them and I respond to as many as I can get to. So thank you for that. It does help out the channel when you hit the like, comment, and share, and subscribe. Thank you, those do get us in front of more people. And if you want to take it one step farther, everyone scrolling over here, they are the patrons on Patreon, as, long as, as well as members on YouTube who've clicked that little join button down below. 
Without patrons and members, this channel wouldn't exist. And I want to say a huge thank you to all of you. Uh, we are completely supported by you, the viewers. So if you'd like to find out more about that and help out the channel yourself, we do have special perks for both members and patrons. You can do that down below. You know all that. <laughs> so I think they'll do it for now. And until next time, have a wonderful day. This is a planing stop. I guess that means the video's over. <laughs>